Hello everyone, welcome to MS Update Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to block email attachments based on file extensions and exchange online using a mail flow rule. Microsoft 365 helps protect your business against ransomware by preventing potentially dangerous files like JavaScript, batch and executables from being open in Outlook. To increase this level of protection by adding rules that block a warn user of additional types of files that is currently not blocked by Microsoft 365. To create a transport rule to block messages based on the file name extension of the attachment in Microsoft 365, we will use Actions Admin Center. You can access Action Admin Center using the URL https colon double slash admin dot .microsoft.com. In Action Admin Center, click on Mail Flow. Under Mail Flow, click on Rules. Click on plus icon to create a new rule. Again, click on Create a new rule. First of all, Click on More option to use Advanced Options. Type a meaningful name for this rule. Here I am giving name Block Attachment Suspicious File Extensions. Under Apply this rule if, click on this drop down arrow and select any attachment. Then select File Extension include these words. In the box, under specify words or phrases, enter the file extensions that you want the rule to be applied to. In this example, we will specify extensions that can contain macros. Uh, the extensions uh, will be possible like .m. Ok, so list is completed. Now let's scroll down to review our list. Ok. So I want to block the attachment with this file extensions. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, you can see the file extensions here as well. Now under do the following, I'm going to click on this drop down list and select block the message. And from that you can select reject the message and include an explanation or you can select delete the message without notifying anyone. Here, I'll go with reject the message and include an explanation option. Enter message text for your notification and then choose OK. Here, I'm typing message attachment contains macros file type. Click OK. You can add exception if you want to bypass this rule for specific user and that you can do by clicking here. Now I'm going to click on save to save this rule. We can see the newly created rule in the rules tab with the name block attachment suspicious file extensions. And if you want, you can change the priority of this rule as well. To test this rule, we will access the mailbox of our administrator. So I'm going to click on app launcher, click on outlook and open in new tab. Uh, let me compose a new message by clicking on new message. And we are going to send this message to CL admin. That means this is going to be a self test mail. Okay, here I have added subject test message for mail flow rule. Now I'm going to attach one file with DOTM extension. Let's click on attach. Browse this computer. And let's select the file. You can see the extension is test.dotdotm. Okay, so we have attached one file with the extension .dotdotm. And based on our mail flow rule, this attachment should be blocked. Okay, now I'm going to click on send to send this message. Let's wait for a few seconds and perfect. Here we can see the message. This is the non-delivery report message from Microsoft Outlook and here we can see your message to cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com couldn't be delivered. 
Reason, a custom mail flow rule created by admin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com has blocked your message. And here we can see the message that we have specified in that rule. Attachment contains macros file type. So here we can see action. It is blocked by mail flow rule. And this is the mail flow rule which we have created. And inside that we have mentioned this message. So whenever that message will be blocked, user will see this message that attachment contains macros file type. And that we can see here. So user is not able to receive any messages with the file attachment which contains the file extensions which we have blocked using a mail flow rule. That concludes the video on how to block email attachment based on file extensions in Exchange Online using a mail flow rule. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.